What's up, everybody? It's B with Pray for Snado Detailing, and I am so pumped that you're here with me in the garage today because we have a 2013 Nissan Quest in titanium beige, and it is going to be one of the funnest details I've done in the last little bit. I broke from the mold in the introduction a little bit because I did not show you the interior. That's coming up. But before we get there, I wanna let you know that my older son, Spartacus, has set a goal for subscribers for the channel. He wants us to hit 1,000 million. So in order for us to do that, you gotta go down and click that subscribe button. Let's get into the interior and you'll see why I'm so excited. Am I right? This is going to be a blast, and I am pumped that you have joined us on this adventure today. So, let's get into detailing this quest, and we are gonna start on the exterior. Let's get to it. Now that the wheel and tire are rinsed, we'll clean it by using Meguiar's Tire and Wheel Cleaner. We'll wipe the tire off with the brush, move on to the rim, and then of course in those smaller areas we are going to use our detailing brushes to make sure all of that brake dust is gone. Wheels and tires are done, now we're going to move on to the actual exterior wash. We're going to start by rinsing and let's get into that now. As we're rinsing this, I wanted to talk about the importance of the rinse step in the exterior detail. Really, you're trying to avoid having any new scratches be on the vehicle. Of course, the washing with the two bucket method is gonna help a lot. However, a really important first step because you just never know what's on the outside of your car. You want to make sure to rinse it, tip to tail, stem to stern. Every little bit of the exterior of the car really just needs to be hit with the pressure washer. Minivans are really notorious in this area right here, the rail for the sliding door of just being collectors of debris. If you'll notice, I just barely pull my hand in there and pull out a whole bunch of stuff. So the lid, actually I think that's a water bottle lid, but stuff is just in there. Oh, I think I see a crayon. Haha, <laughs> told you there was a crayon. You can actually hit it with a pressure washer, which is what we're gonna do. Things done, so we're gonna hit it with the foam cannon, two bucket wash method, and then we're gonna go on to one more chance with the foam cannon. One rule you don't get to make fun of my buckets, they're sentimental. Because we need the paint absolutely dry when we go to protect it, we're going to use the Adams Air Cannon to make sure that it is. Exterior wash is 
done, we're gonna move on to the paint protection. We're just gonna start with a light clay barring using the Adams Clay Mitt. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I've already detailed this car within the last year or so. So there's not a ton of contamination on the exterior. However, still gonna give it a light clay barring so that we, when we do the paint protection, it turns out as awesome as possible. So let's get to it. Clay barring is done. Let's move on to paint protection. For this, we are going to use the Adams Graphene Ceramic Spray with a Chemical Guys applicating pad, a Chemical Guys microfiber towel to buff off, and it's gonna turn out epic because it always does. Let's do it. This area right here is black trim, but you can see it is just utterly faded. We're gonna try Sarah trim from the last coat and see if we can restore just this section right here. Let's get to it. One thing I completely forgot to mention, we are going to restore the headlights. We're gonna use the Sarah coat procedure again because it worked out so well on that Camry that I'm gonna do it on this Nissan Quest. First, we're gonna tape off all around it and then we are going to use the oxidation wipes, sanding, then ceramic coat. So let's get rolling. Step one, oxidation remover. We take the wipe, wipe it on here. When the wipe is yellow, we discard it. We have four to work with with each headlight. So let's roll. Now we're gonna get it wet because you do want a wet sand, so we're gonna get it wet. And then we are going to sand it with 2,000 grit followed up by 3,000 grit. What? Don't these look sick after applying the ceramic coating? The most awesome thing with this headlight restoration is that it does improve visibility, obviously at night. The faded foggy headlights just don't emit that much light because it's so diffused in trying to get through all of that grime. So once you sand all of that off and restore it with the ceramic coating, it really does improve your driving ability at night because you can actually see and it's awesome. Exterior is done. Let's move on to the inside. First, we're gonna take out all of the mats and then we'll get to vacuuming. Let's do it. While we're pulling out these floor mats, you saw how dirty the rubber floor mats were. So keep that in mind as we're going through these. You can see that they caught a lot of stuff. So rubber floor mats are awesome. So on these floor mats, I usually just use a brush with soap and it clears them up for the most part. In this quest, these floor mats are a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is actually use a drill brush and see if it clears it up, see if it cleans it up a little bit better. Pretty confident that it will, so let's give it a try. You'll notice that I go over an area with a pressure washer when cleaning off these mats and then I come back to it. Since I pressure wash with hot, soft water, it actually works a little bit better to hit it once, kind of get it softened up, and then come back to it. If not, I'm just holding the pressure washer on that exact spot for a really long time and it's just ineffective. Okay, 
case in point. Not protected by a rubber floor mat, protected by a rubber floor mat. One of the things that was really epic with this Quest detail is that most of the carpet and the floor mats were protected by those rubber mats. So the only area that didn't have anything to protect it was the area in between the captain's chairs, which is this piece of carpet right here. And it definitely needed some love. Now that the mats are all cleaned off, we'll move on to picking up the inside and then vacuuming the interior. Let's do it. Fun find during the quest detail, a pine cone. I don't know if I've ever found a pine cone detailing a car before, but hey, there it was. remember the condition of the floor mat that went right here so it totally makes sense that the anchor point in between the captain's chairs was a little bit rough. The final vacuuming step of any car that I detail is to brush off all of the dust that's on any plastics and I do that by using my detail brush that is my signature green color. Now, I know I'm pretty excitable, but I am so pumped for this extraction of this rear seat in particular. Let's get into it and you will definitely see why.
My standard for determining how dirty the carpets were on the inside of a vehicle is to see how dirty the water comes out of my extractor. If it's chocolate milk, like this, then we know it's pretty dirty. I know what you're thinking. Hey, where did that green part go? Wait around till B's top three and you'll totally get to see it because it was epic. Aren't these extractions just so much fun? I had such a blast detail in this car. Well, that carpet cleaning did not disappoint. Am I right? It was tons of fun and turned out awesome. Now we're gonna move on to the plastics. We are going to use 3D's all-purpose cleaner or APC as the cool kids call it. I definitely wanna be cool. And detailing brushes, just microfiber rags to wipe stuff up. We're going to protect all the plastics with 3D, 3D, 303 aerospace protectant, literally one of my favorite products. And in spaces or spots that are more soiled than others, especially if there's anything stubborn, I'm gonna use the steam cleaner in conjunction with the 3D APC to clean those spots. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be awesome. I'm having a ton of fun. Let's keep going. An aspiring artist used the rear passenger window as their canvas and their medium was stickers and crayons. Now I was able to remove all of the stickers using acetone. The problem I encountered was that crayon wax. It had actually etched its way into the window tint and I was unwilling to damage that window tint just to remove it so I got it as detailed as I could but it was definitely not perfect. These steps show the 
awesome power of that steam cleaner when coupled with the APC. It really does help when you're trying to get down into those scratches where the dirt has been embedded from children's feet getting in and out of the van. The steam cleaner really shines when you have stubborn stains that do not want to be removed with simple APC and detailing brushes. So I like to use it on the steering wheel and definitely in those vent louvers because dust always collects back there and the steam cleaner can get to those hard to reach places like clear back in those vent louvers. Now that we are nearing the end of this extremely satisfying APC go round on this quest, we're going to protect the plastics by using 303 Aerospace Protectant. This is an incredible product and I apply it with a Chemical Guys applicating pad. I also like to spray it into one of my detailing brushes to get in all of those smaller areas so that every part of this Nissan Quest is going to be protected. If you have any questions about detailing, please reach out to me. I love talking about this stuff because I love detailing cars. I had a question come in and it was how do we protect the floor mats? And it's simple. With a plastic floor mat, all you have to do is use 303 Aerospace Protectant. Simply spray it on. I work it in with a detailer fiber rack. It helps protect it just like it helps protect the rest of the plastic in the vehicle. You'll notice all of my before pictures are with the car absolutely drenched. There are always circumstances where the customers can only leave their cars with me for a certain amount of time and I had to actually pull this one in during a huge rainstorm so it was kind of wet when I pulled it in but it worked out well and I want to give a huge shout out to the customer. Thank you for trusting me with your vehicle because this one was such a riot to do and I had a blast doing it and I think it turned out so awesome. Oh, 
it turned out so sick. Even with the lighter colored seats and everything, it just turned out epic. transformation process on that quest was so sick and it turned out really awesome for the customer which makes me really pumped now without further ado let's get into b's top three number three is a scratch that started on the driver's side door and extended all the way back to nearly the end of the sliding door i did some hand paint correction with some car pro products and it turned out pretty awesome the scratch in the driver's side door didn't come out quite as well, but it still looked better than when we started. Number two is the step getting into the vehicle through the sliding door on the driver's side. This was covered in small scratches and had a ton of dirt stuff all the way in there. So to get it clean, I used the APC, sprayed it on there, and then hit it with the steam cleaner from front to back. And I hit it all the way around just to make sure to get everything as clean as possible. But because there was so much dirt stuck in there, I actually had to repeat the process for a second time. And it turned out pretty awesome. Check it out. Number one and my favorite part of this quest detail was of course that rear bench. Now I intentionally left this out of the main part of the video just because I was so excited to extract this. I of course did my normal process of cleaning carpets which is to use the Chemical Guy Citrus Cleaner, spray it on there, use my DeWalt drill with my drill brush set and go over that to agitate that rear seat and then move on to the extraction process with the Sandia extractor. This turned out even better than I thought it could. The seats were a lighter color, so I really was intimidated by this area, not knowing if the stain would come out, but you can see in the after shot that it really did come out and the customer was so pumped and I was pumped that I was able to remove that for them. That Quest detail was so sick and it turned out really epic for the customer, which is of course the goal here at Craper Snow Auto Detailing. Remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, Spartacus, my older son, has set the goal of 1,000 million subscribers. So you can subscribe by clicking on that button right up there. And if you wanna watch another one of our awesome videos, there's a link right up here. Now, of course, if you wanna detail with B, all you gotta do is head on down and detail that like button. Thanks for joining us and we'll catch you on the next one.